Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the West Ham world. It's Luke here. Just a quick little video about yesterday's game. I didn't get a chance yesterday. Really busy after the game. We all managed to catch it, I assume, you know, where the, the club did host it on YouTube. Listen, I was really, really happy with what I saw. Listen, you, you can't look too much into it. You're looking for style of play. You're looking for ideas and stuff. And I think I see that yesterday, you know, especially the first half. I thought I see a team that had patterns of play had some ideas on how to you know so actually know what to do with a football rather than just hoof it um, I think Lopetegui's trying to instill don't waste passes you know make sure the passes are there and also trying to instill something about how to um, you know how to that like, sort of just waste time a little bit don't be so much in a rush if you've got the ball the opposition can't score where you know David Moyes is the anti of that where give the opposition the ball if we sit at 8, 9, 10, 11 men behind the ball they won't score I like that listen the goals against a little bit unlucky with them deflections like I said he is a friendly I can't go over and assess it like I'm going to next week with Villa for example um, but at times West Ham some of the little patterns of play were amazing Pakatar if he turns up in that mood this season and we know, you know, he goes on and off where he can have brilliant phases where he looks like, you know, he can beat the world like he did yesterday or he can go completely off the boil. But a, a Pakatar in that mood, you know, fight a goal and an assist yesterday, found a pass for Bowen, glad that Bowen scored, you know, that just gets that uh, weight off his head straight away to get his first goal. But then that's that second goal, Pakatar's goal, the passing and movement from Caduce, Bowen, it's, it's so exciting to see that and I can't wait, like I say, to see where this team is in a few weeks' time. I'm not going to get too excited, as I say, I've, you've got to... Uh, I'm excited about the window and what's happened there, but I have to keep my emotions low because, you know, especially working... Not working, but, you know, doing a YouTube channel, it's very easy to get clicked up when you get too excited and predict things. Um... But yeah, brilliant, you know, and the fact that Tabida, who got done yesterday as well, and the Aaron Wampasaka deal looks like it should be done by the end of the day, or at least probably Monday. It's exciting times for West Ham, and if, if anything, if I was picking out a weakness in the team yesterday, and it's really harsh to do this, but Vladimir Soufal, you could see he, he was being targeted a lot in the game yesterday. Uh, it used to be Cresswell, you know, them years where Cresswell used to get targeted on the left-hand side. Soufal has gone a bit backwards, where I think wan has been bought in. He's strong, defensively the best right-back in the league. Um, and it frees up Bowen. Like, Bowen won't have to do as much of a shift defensively. He, he will still do it because it's in his nature, but he will be allowed to be a little bit more relaxed on that side. Uh, who else? Uh, I thought Sochek played well and I, you listen I'm still one for him to go and I hope hope we can get some sort of deal done but I like the way he filled in at centre back yesterday he sprayed the ball a couple of times maybe they've been working on him maybe in training you know Lopetegui's looked at him and gone look let's, if we get your passing right you can be a nuisance uh, who else Somerville come on uh, done a couple of little runs I think he's going to be really exciting um, a little bit lightweight but again that's just it, what he is that's a winger typical winger Full Krug didn't really offer much and missed a penalty. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Full Kilman looked, you know, calm and assured on the ball. A good looked good. Mavropanos, you know, I think that's another one that could be, you know, if the if he, what if the rumour's true that West Ham is still looking at two more players, um, he may be one of the ones that goes. If it was a centre back and a midfielder, that's the rumours. Another centre back and a midfielder uh, could be that Carlos Sole. Could be Fofana. I'm not sure about the centre back, so I'm uh, not sure about the names we've been linked with there, uh, the remaining names. John Durandil still up in the air as well, you know, he still hasn't got a club. Um, wouldn't surprise me if a loan to buy comes in in that situation. Anyway, guys, that is it from me for today. I hope um, you enjoy your day. I'm off to Justin Timberlake with my wife today to celebrate our uh, sixth wedding anniversary, uh, you know, for a treat. Anyway, come on, you wines, keep believing. Let's go.